No, so like, I mean, I will take two trades a day, most definitely, if it if it aligns. But I'm not taking a trade after after a win. Okay, like so if you win for the day, you're you're saying you're done. You're yeah, that's away. what I meant. Like, yeah, so if I get one win, I'm done. If I take a loss and the setup aligns again, then I will take another trade. Okay. Yep. And then max two trades. If you lose both of them, you're done? I'm walking away, closing the laptop. Good. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that's that's huge. Yeah. Because just being able to do that is huge, especially for beginner traders. They can't do that. It's hard to do, for sure. It's something that I had to, like, mentally train for, you know, doing things like, visualization, meditation, exactly. all those things. Like you can train yourself to get away from all those negative things that you do, like over trading and not being able to walk away. So I literally see myself mm -hmm. closing my laptop and walking away. Damn. Yeah, like I do that repetition because I know it's going to be a day that the market is going to- thought of that. Yeah, the market is going to frustrate you and make you think that you're crazy. Like, you know, this setup can work and it just may not be your day and that's okay. So that's what I just kind of had to do for that, um, just that repetition to understand, like, I can just walk away, but to do it in the moment is hard. So that's why we, you know, do the, vis the visualizations and stuff like that. Yeah. So you're doing the visualizations. You're doing stuff that I would say even that alone, mm -hmm. most traders aren't doing that. Yeah. Right? Like they, they probably have no idea what that looks like. Right. So give me some perspective as to what was your experience being the student mm -hmm. and Ray being the teacher or professor, mm -hmm. right? What does that relationship look like for you? What did you have to do? What did you learn? Mm -hmm. And how did it help you become profitable? I think Ray, working with him, um, doing like the five-day course first, I think that kind of just solidified what I already kind of knew from the strategy that he was teaching and just kind of refined it. But like actually working with him one-on-one um, definitely doing like the psychology side. So always showing my trades from each day, showing my psychology in the moment, kind of breaking down like, what are my barriers? Like what what's stopping me from easily passing the challenge if I'm marking up trades that are going for one to eight to one to 10, but I closed early or I let the stop, I, I let it go all the way to one to 10, but I wanted a one to 12 or something. And I, I didn't even move my stop loss. Like just all these little different things um, is what, I start working with him on and then kind of figuring out a plan for myself of what I need to see when I sit down and meditate um, to kind of get rid, rid of those bad habits. And I think that will kind of help me to get into the role, actually being able to work with him, um, kind of coming out of that student role and kind of working besides him. Uh, it, it was definitely big. I mean, he, huge, yeah. he's got the game on lock when it comes to the, the psychology game, as well as, you know, just the trading game in general, because I think one thing about him, he really understands like the mindset of being profitable over time Yeah, where we all want to take trades every single day and we always want those trades to be wins. Some days there are going to be losses. So you have to understand that that comes with it. But do you have the mentality to to get through that is, you know, what's key. So I think, um, yeah, working with him has definitely been great. And yeah, what that kind of, again, look like is just the repetition of, uh, him helping me create a plan of what I want to see and what I want to do as I'm doing my meditations and like visualizations and everything. So it seemed like the whole focus is pretty much getting clarity, clarity, getting clarity on yep. you know, the actual processes that are going that are happening when mm -hmm. you're taking the trade. Right. Like yeah. Actually looking at, you know, what is my brain saying right now mm -hmm. instead of just going through the motions? Right. Yeah. Because I mean, the meditation in itself is the thing that creates the awareness. So. The thing is, like, in the moment, we're not so much aware of the things that we're doing so that that's where kind of where we fall short at. So, like, doing the reps of um, meditation is, like, what creates the awareness around it. So now when I'm in the moment, I'm paying attention to what I'm thinking as I'm entering and exiting the trade. I'm writing it down as I'm, you know, going through my trading day. Mm -hmm. I'm um, recording myself while I'm trading. I'm doing all these things so I can kind of play back, like, you know, just like a quarterback looking at the yeah. setups every day and playing it back and watching it, getting ready for the next week, like doing and those. Recording that with your webcam too? Yeah. Yep. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I'm not recording myself with my webcam, but I'm, that's something I'm going to implement as well. Yeah. Just so I can kind of see my reaction as well, but just uh, recording my screen at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So you came to Ray. Mm -hmm. You had already studied his videos. Yep. You knew the strategy. You felt pretty confident in that strategy, right? Is mm -hmm. your trade on your live account? Yep. 
And then from there, you did the five-day course. Yep. It was on Zoom? Yeah, so it was all on Zoom. It was like mm-hmm. eight hours, five days. He, yeah, he had us locked Jeez. in. Yeah. Ray's a savage for that one. Yeah, I'm telling you, he's <laughs> the one. So what are some takeaways that you had personally? I think um, the main takeaway I got from him was the psychology. Psychology. Yeah, it was the psychology behind taking the trades in the moment to pull the trigger. Like, what I need to see to pull the trigger, getting a strong plan and structure in place as well. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, I think that's kind of why I just dove deeper into reaching out to him because I really wanted to understand, like, his mindset mm-hmm. and around all of this and around the whole strategy and around what he's thinking in the moment, like, just diving deeper. And he, you know, was always receptive to me and always answered any question that I had, so... 